Radicchio. Radicchio? Radicchio. Key, key, key. Cool. You can also use Radicchio or you can use. <laughs> you got in my head. <laughs> oh, right, here we go. So, miso. We have rice, we have koji, and we have salt. The two most widely uh, available misos are white and red. The best way to describe the flavour of miso is umami. Umami roughly translates to delicious in Japanese and is widely considered as the fifth taste bud on the tongue. It's super savoury but also a perfect balance of salt and sweet, kind of mouth-hugging flavour. It's unforgettable and super delicious. At Otolenghi, we love to use miso in soups, stocks, broths and sauces. We also love to use it in our pastry, in our sweet side. If you try adding a bit of miso to your chocolate ganache or any kind of like bitter chocolate desserts, it's going to really elevate it and give it a really beautiful savoury note. So now I'm going to show you how to take this miso, turn it into a really lovely dressing that you're going to use on everything in your larder, but today we're going to use it on a big crunchy salad. All right, let's get started with our cauliflower. You have to be like a wallaby to get through that. I don't know. <laughs> you try and talk about cauliflower. <laughs> For today's miso recipe, we're going to be making a miso and apple dressing and we're going to wrap that around some roasted cauliflower um, and dress it up with a pistachio and nori pesto, some nice chicory leaves, some sliced apple. It's going to be one of those salads that has heaps of sweet, savoury, acid, um, heaps of texture and that like really gorgeous savoury miso note running all the way through it. So to start, we're going to take our white miso. We're going to add that to a saucepan along with about 250ml of apple juice. And we're gonna cook that down for about 12 to 15 minutes until it's nice and sticky and syrupy. So we're gonna concentrate that sweet and sharp acid flavor from the apple juice. And it's gonna mold with that savoriness of the miso and create a really, really mouth-watering dressing. That is great on everything. So, as that gets going, we're gonna make our pistachio sprinkle. So, we have some toasted pistachio kernels here. We have also some toasted Szechuan uh, peppercorns, some Aleppo chili flakes, and some nori flakes. Um, the nori flakes you can either have as a sheet and grind it down or get in the flake form. Give it a real gentle toast as well, and it kind of wakes it up. Um, and these are all gonna to bound together to give um, a really nice, sprinkle that we're going to use to deliver some texture to our salad and it's also going to be the base of our pesto which is going to help bind everything together with our dressing. To start we're going to add our spices and our nuts. I'm using the small bowl of our food processor because you kind of want everything to be compact and, and breaking down um, making a bigger batch. You can, I had one of these in my fridge for about two weeks um, and it's still delicious so it does hang around so if you want double up the batch this would be great in a pasta dish or a noodle dish. It'd be great with some cheese on toast. So, gonna give this a pulse. We want everything to break down to like small, almost lentil size pieces. So we're just gonna get it going. What you don't wanna do is let it run for too long and end up making a pistachio, spicy pistachio prowling, which would be maybe nice, but definitely not for this dish. So, we've got them roughly broken down to like a lentil size. Um, small chunky pieces, lots of texture, that's what we're looking for. Nice, so we've got our pistachio um, down to the texture we want it to be. So we're gonna, just gonna take out about a tablespoon of that sprinkle and we're gonna use that to help finish our dish. So now I'm gonna turn this into a pesto. So starting off, we're gonna add some roughly chopped spring onions. Save one of these back to the end. Next, we're gonna add some parsley. You just kinda of wanna break them down a little bit so they're gonna have an easier time getting to know everything else that's in this uh, food processor. And now we're just gonna give that uh, a pulse um, to start getting, breaking things down. So as you can see, we're starting to get what is beginning to resemble a pesto. So now we're going to uh, finish off our pesto. We're going to add the zest of one lime. We're going to add just a splash of apple juice. 
and some vegetable oil. A pinch of salt and some cracked black pepper. So the reason we're using vegetable oil and not olive oil is that we kind of want, don't want the oil flavour to, to get in the way or muddle with the rest of the elements going on here. So we're going to just give it a pulse. Perfect. Nice. Just give that a good taste. Mm. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. So I'm going to put that to one side. So we've been releasing our apple juice and miso for about 15 minutes now on a high heat. And we're getting some really nice big sticky bubbles so we know it's kind of at the level we want it to be in terms of like caramelly, viscosity type thing. Um, so we're going to pour it out. I like to use a spatula to get all of it out because this stuff is like liquid gold. I really like to get all of it out and put on everything I can. As we're going to emulsify oil into here, if we add in the oil while it's hot, it's going to split when it's cold. Just you kind of want temperatures to be the same. So we're going to get this, let this get to room temperature, and then we're going to whisk in some oil, and that's going to be the base of our dressing for today. We're now going to add juice of half a lime from the lime we zested with the pesto, a little pinch of salt, and some pepper, and then we're going to whisk in some vegetable oil. I'm just slowly adding the oil until it becomes combined. Don't matter, it doesn't, don't worry if it um, splits, you can always just bring them back together. Um, it won't massively affect this salad too much. So we've emulsified in all our vegetable oil, and now we have a super silky, kind of almost moussey dressing to play with. We're now going to take our cauliflower and dress it in that dressing, um, and then throw it in the oven. So we're going to take our cauliflower that we broke down earlier, um, one thing I always like to use is the stems of the cauliflower. I kind of take off the woody very end bit, but the rest of it's good to go, man. It's got heaps of texture and flavor in there. It feels like a shame to not to use it. So we've got our tray of cauliflower. I'm gonna give that a little bit of salt because while this dressing we've made is perfectly balanced in terms of salt and savory, the cauliflower is gonna need salt to cook as well. So a little bit of salt on that. And then we're gonna take a good amount of this dressing. Um, and use it to marinate the cauliflower. So you can marinate the cauliflower for half an hour, you can marinate it up to like three or four hours. You don't want to leave it overnight because the, the acid in the dressing will begin to break down the cauliflower and you'll, you, you'll lose that like, brilliant texture of, of roasted cauliflower. You want the oven to be as hot as it can go because we're looking for charring as well as cooking. Um, so we're going to throw it in the oven at 240. It's going to be in there for around 20 minutes. So our cauliflower's been in there for about 17 minutes, 18 minutes, so we're gonna get it out now. What we're looking for is heaps of charring, but still a nice bit of bite and texture from it. So to give the cauliflower a feel. Still got quite a bit of resistance in the stems, but everything else is nice and charred and caramelized, which is exactly what we're looking for. So we're gonna give it about five, 10 minutes to cool, come to roomish temperature, then we're gonna build our salads. So to start, we're gonna get a nice Granny Smith apple. Now, we had quite a fierce debate this morning about what is the best apple, but for me, Granny Smith is my favourite. Super sharp, super acidic, not too sweet, so you can use it in a load of different ways. So it's still got a nice bit of texture. So you only need about half an apple, which is perfect, so I can have this on my lunch break. So we've got some nice half moons there. So we're going to add these to our mixing bowl, separate them out a bit. As we add our apple, we'll also add just a tiny squeeze of lime juice, and that's to save them from them changing their colour. Oh, that is the most aggressive lime. Um, next, we're going to add some chicory. So we've gone for red chicory today. Um, There's a nice contrast, but it will also work with yellow and white chicory. So you kind of we want to keep these leaves nice and big, so they don't get lost in all the textures. You can also use radicchio. You can use. Uh, like a, a solid lettuce as well. So the final component to this is we're gonna add some spring onions too. Perfect, we've got our chicory, our apple, and our spring onions in here. Our roasted cauliflower is now cooled, so we're gonna throw all of that into our mixing bowl too. We're going to add some of our miso dressing to dress the whole salad. That'll do. And a couple of spoonfuls of our pesto. 
Um, and now we get our hands dirty. I'm gonna give it a nice toss. Be delicate, so not to tote, not to break everything down, but you also want everything to be coated nicely in the pesto and the dressing. And now it's time to plate. So we're gonna spread these out evenly across the base of a big, nice platter. We're just gonna finish by sprinkling on some of our pistachio and nori sprinkle. This is gonna give us a nice final bit of crunch and texture. And there we have it. We've got a salad there full of, full of texture, full of colors. Um, I'm really, really happy with that. I think if you put that down on a table in front of me, I'd be super, super chuffed. It's so beautiful. Thank you very much. Um, thank you. Mm, I love the apple with this. Mm. It's really, really, really good. And your cauliflower is roast, roasted perfectly. Well, yeah, I mean... Almost as good as mine. Yeah. <laughs> it's part of the job interview here, I guess. Oh, so proud of you, Jake. Oh. Nice cauliflower. Thank you, Chaya. <laughs> It's so mm. good. It's really good. Mm. So what's not easy is putting a whole flat cauliflower in your mouth. Really, really nice, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>